In this video, we will explore the basic pathophysiology of anemia. In order to understand the pathophysiology of anemia, you first have to know the normal red cell life cycle. The earliest identifiable erythroid form in the marrow is the erythroblast, an immature looking cell with deep blue cytoplasm and a large open nucleus. In five to seven days, both the nucleus and the cytoplasm will change dramatically. In the process of maturation and division, the nucleus becomes smaller and denser and is eventually kicked out of the cell completely. In sync with what's happening in the nucleus, the cytoplasm matures by gradually filling up with hemoglobin, turning the stained cell from blue to red. This newly formed red cell is now ready to enter the circulation. The new red cell looks pretty much like all the other ones floating around in the blood. However, if you look carefully, using special staining techniques, you could see that the newly formed red cell still has a few remnants of ribosomes and mRNA left over from its hemoglobin-producing days in the marrow. These remnants persist in the cell only a day or two after it enters the circulation, and during this time, the cell is called a reticulocyte. After that, they're just called plain old red cells, or erythrocytes. As the cell reaches its 120-day cell-by date, macrophages in the reticuloendothelial system, mainly in the spleen, recognize them as being too old and remove them from the circulation. In general, 1 to 2 percent of cells are removed per day, 1 to 2 percent new reticulocytes enter the circulation per day, thereby maintaining a consistent steady state. The phagocytosed red cell's heme is efficiently detoxified by the macrophage. The iron is recycled, carried in the plasma by transferrin to the marrow, where it is taken up by erythroblasts and used to make new red cells. The heme ring is opened up and catabolized to bilirubin, a potentially toxic, insoluble yellow pigment that is carried in the plasma bound to albumin. The insoluble bilirubin, referred to as indirect bilirubin, is brought to the liver where it is conjugated to a water-soluble form, known as direct bilirubin. It is excreted into the bile. Now knowing the normal red cell life cycle, it is obvious that the two main causes of anemia are decreased red cell production, a marrow problem, and increased red cell destruction. 